and it starts recording. So this is Phoenix, and Phoenix is hatchery of, of this is in our front hooves. So then as we come cl come closer, you can actually bring it down, bring it down to where I'm. You you can take you can pretty much see whatever you see is what you get. Okay. So you can tell by her hooves that she's really flat through here, although she is starting to develop some cav concavity, which she didn't have in her. She's got nice, deep collateral grooves. Okay? So basically what I'm going to be doing with her hooves is bringing down the, the heel to the balance of the sole and rounding out the edges. So that's one side. And that's the other side. And then basically it's just taking this edge back to take the stress off of the hoof wall. see I'm really not concerned about her eating as long as she wants to give me her hoof so now that I've done that I'm going to continue with giving her a nice flat platform to step on and rolling this edge so that it doesn't interfere with her stride and takes the stress off of the hoof wall. Okay? Alright. Get up to here. You can see that she's abscessed here in the last six months. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Really, you can see on this hoof, she's developed some nice, she's starting to develop some nice concavity, which she didn't have six months before. And you can see the pigment, I don't know if you can see the pigment runs from this collateral groove outward because the growth in the thickness of the sole grows from this, grows from this outward. So anytime you thin this area, you're actually thinning the sole. And every time you cut this area inside of this line here, right through here, you're going into the thickening of the callus that comes down from the horn, the hoof wall. So again, we're going to be very, very careful not to take anything past this point or this point, which thins the callus, and we were very careful about carving anything out here because it thins the sole. So again we're going to start with getting her heels down to the level with the sole again so that she's got a nice platform to walk on and then we're going to roll this edge back. Let's see if I can go ahead and Again, I put the nippers down at the level of what the bar is, and that's really the level where her heel wants to be. And then I'm just going to go ahead and roll that edge back. Get the pressure off of the hoof wall, over the hoof wall. And then we take the pressure off here and here, this gap, which is a split, will start to close up too because there's pressure on each side. 
And she's she's just enjoying just munching on the grass. So basically, we can see we restored the natural shape of the hoof just by clipping off that wall. We've not interfered at all with the callus inside, and we've not interfered with the thickening of the sole by taking any of this material off. And then I'll just do this with the rasp and flatten this, smooth this edge out. out. Okay. You want to take a picture? We didn't do a we didn't do a before picture on this one, so you have to stop the.